Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the greatest matchmaker show on earth, Philosopher Charming. I'm your host, Penny, and today we have with us four beautiful ladies who just can't wait to meet their Philosopher Charming. First with us today is Bernadette. Bernadette, are you excited to finally meet your philosopher charming? Yes, I'm so excited. I just can't wait. Well, let's get started then. How would your dream philosopher view human nature and society? I want a man with a positive view on society, someone who believes that people are rational, intelligent, and reasonable, and that the source of power is the people themselves. Wow, sounds like you're really looking for that one in a million guy. Uh, no, not exactly. I'm not looking for one in a million, because otherwise there would be 7,000 and 36 other people just like him. Oh, haha, <laughs> now I see why you want intelligent. Look at those numbers. Anyways, moving on. How would your philosopher meet, er, uh, view the individual? He would believe the individual possesses the ability to be reasonable and make rational decisions, and that each individual of society agrees to be governed so that he or she may gain the full benefits of living in a society like a contract. I see, so some control but not too much. Makes sense. How about government control? What would that be like for your perfect man? My perfect man would think that government only exists to protect life, liberty, and property, which would be why people would give up their state of freedom just to be in a civil society. Also, government actions would be justified by the <laughs> approval of the majority of people in society. Wow, it sounds like you've really put a lot of thought into what you're looking for in a guy. That is remarkable. The most thought I put into anything is what kind of cereal I'm having in the morning, and that's probably why I'm alone. <laughs> Alright, we're nearing the end of this interview, and I have just one more question for you. What would your perfect man's desire for change be, and what would his ideologies based on a political spectrum be? His desire for change would have to be moderate, because they are tolerant of people's views, and they do not hold extreme views of their own. And his political spectrum ideolo ideology would have to be that of a democracy. Thank you again, Bernadette. Based on all the answers you have given to us, the questions we have matched you with your philosopher charming. John Locke. Penny. 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 Huh? What? Sorry. <laughs> Bernadette, and there's your philosopher charming. I thank you. Yes. Have a good evening. You too. Glad to have you on the show. Am I allowed to bite her for him? Oh my god. Okay, holy crap. Oh, we're still rolling. Anyway, um, so next I would like to welcome Leslie onto the stage. Welcome, Leslie. So happy to have you on the show. My name is not actually Leslie. Oh, my man. Thanks, I'm so excited to be here. I can't wait for you to match me with my philosopher, Charming. I just have never had a boyfriend before. This is going to be amazing. Well, there is love in the air over here right now, isn't there? Wrong. Oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and argon are in the air. Oh wow, I just can't catch a break with these girls. I guess I'm gonna need some new jokes. My producers are gonna be mad at me for that. Anyway, let's just get started. So your dream man, how would he view human nature in society? My perfect man would believe that people should live to be an economic man and should, should be pursuing his self-interest in a single-minded way. Someone who is constantly thinking of what is the best for himself. Don't you want a man who's going to care about the things we want and need? I mean, if he only cares about himself, he's not going to be there for you, is he? Let's get real. Take care of myself. I don't need a man to control. I've made it this far on my own. Fair point. Well made, Leslie. I can see that you're very independent. Alright, next question. How would your philosopher Charming view the individuals within a society? My perfect hubby would believe that individuals could work in cooperation amongst each other perfectly as long as what they were doing had some benefit to the individuals. Ah, yes, everyone loves doing stuff if they get something out of it. 
How would you say that your perfect man would view government within a society? He would believe wherever there is government, there is corruption. If people were to govern themselves, it would be a better and wealthier nation. That seems reasonable. I mean, who knows better what they want than the people themselves? How about his desire for change and his ideology on a political spectrum? Oh gosh, that's a tough one. I would have to say that he would want moderate change to happen, wanting government to give people the power to govern themselves, that all government really need to do is worry for security, health, insurance, and basic issues that require government intervention. My baby would have to be a communist, and he would believe that single power held in the government that it was for the people could better the lives of many. Wow, Leslie, those are some very touching answers that you gave. I can feel the dedication that you've put into finding yourself a philosopher. Charming. So, are you ready to see who he is? OMG, yes, I have been waiting so long for this. And there he is, Adam Smith. And he's just backstage for you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Thank you, Canada. Oh, Adam Smith. Oh dear. <laughs> hey. Well, um, that was interesting. I've never quite seen anything like that in my life. But alright, she was pretty excited. Anyway, only two more beautiful ladies left. And the next one we have here is the wonderful Amy. Uh, a Amy? Amy, where are you, Amy? Um, looks like she's a little shy. Just give me a second, I'm gonna go. There she is! Mm -hmm. Hello. Uh, you can't... that's... that's my spot. Oh, can't... can't... Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Thanks. Well, never quite had anybody sit in my spot before. That was weird. So, Amy, tell us a little bit about why you're here. Well, uh, I'm, I'm very shy, so I am not good at going and talking to people. So I figured if someone else found me, uh, the perfect guy, then that would make it a lot easier for me. Oh, well, I see. You came to the right place. We're going to find you the perfect guy. So how would your perfect man view human nature and society? I'm totally into a guy who wants to live alone. Because, like, that's the way man is at peace because he views himself as being weak. However, uh, when man joins society, he finds strength in numbers, which leads to the innate desire to war and conquer. Oh yeah, war is terrible. We don't really want to have to worry about that now, do we? How would you say your dream man would uh, be the individual? Well, I would really like a guy who is all like, mm, democratic and stuff, but I don't want him to think that people are uh, all equal and stuff, because, like, we aren't, I mean, look at me, I'm totally not equal to you, I'm, like, way above you on so many levels, it's, like, not even funny, <laughs> but I'm laughing anyways, <laughs> like, you could just be my slave, but also, my dream guy would play a more dominant role. I mean, like, if he just tell me what to do, then I don't have to think about it, and it's less work for me. And like, yeah, life will just be easier, and I think that all guys should be like that with their woman. So I would really like a guy like that, like, totally. Well, that's an interesting way to put it. I've never heard someone put it quite like that before. But whatever floats your boat, I guess. In terms of government, how would your dream guy view government's role in society? Well, he would believe that a government that is elected by the people is the best form of government, as long as the right balance of power is maintained. I agree with that. If you maintain a good balance of power, then everyone is happy because no one really has any more power than anyone else. So, Amy, your dream guy would have what desire for change? He would be a reactionary and would be really strict in defending the old views on government 
and how things should be ruled. That's how it is. You like them a little older. I gotcha. Uh um, no, ew, like, gross. I just want him to do things the old-fashioned way. Oh, alright, haha, <laughs> makes sense. The old way is nice, I mean, haha, <laughs> moving on. Um, so how would your dream philosopher view ideologies based on a political spectrum? Oh my god, that's the one is like so easy, he would have to approve of democracy. Because, you know, that's like good and stuff. Oh, okay. Well, that was a very eye-opening interview, but Amy, based on your answers, we were able to match you with your perfect philosopher charming. Are you ready to hear who he is? Um, like, uh, duh. Haha, <laughs> and your lucky philosopher is Montesquieu! <laughs> I guess that's the end of that inter interview. We have had some pretty weird things happen tonight, but I don't think it could get any weirder than this. So, we have one interview left to go, and it's the beautiful, beautiful Lady Lucy, and I bet you she just can't wait to meet her philosopher Charming. <laughs> Are you being serious right now? You know that that's a, a, a dog, right? That, that's not even human? I was like, well, I officially stand corrected on my earlier statement. It can't get any weirder than this. Are we still doing this interview? Like, we still want me to... Yeah? Okay. Um, so, what would your uh, philosopher charming be... Uh, views on uh, human nature and society. I want a man who's all about control because he would have to believe that human nature is characterized by fear, violence, and dangerous self-interest. But that doesn't mean that he himself wants violence and he would want to have the ultimate control to make sure that no one gets out of line. Oh, well, that's understandable. I mean, after all, I'm pretty sure you get smacked a lot. I mean, obedience is kind of a major concern with your kind. My kind? Yeah, you being of the canine family and all. Yeah, sure. Whatever that means. Alright, um, moving on. What would your dream man's view on the individual be? Um, he would have to believe in extreme individualism, where people only look out for them and hurt anyone who gets in their way. I mean, look at me. I go after whatever I want. That's why my master puts me on a leash. Oh dear, I'm gonna pretend that that wasn't just said, and I'll move on to the next question. So, your philosopher Charming would view government how? Um, he would have to think that people should give up all freedom to government in order to have security because you can't have freedom and still be safe. Like, come on, I got a fenced yard for crying out loud. I mean, like, all sorts of bad stuff's out there. Yeah, I have a fenced yard for my dog too. I mean, I wouldn't want her to run away or get into any trouble out there all by herself. So what would your philosopher's view on um, the desire for change be? He would need to be in between um, radical and liberal in the way that he would... Um, not believe in violence, but would still want progress and control? Okay, I see. And one more question before we math match you with your philosopher, Charming. What would your dream hubby's ideologies based on political spectrum be? Um, he would have to want somewhere between a dictatorship and a monarchy with lots of government control, but without the violence. Wow! Just like every other lady, you have given such fantastic and detailed responses to our questions. Now, for the big reveal of your philosopher charming, guess who he is? Thomas Hobbes. And there you have- OMG, OMG, he's so amazing. I must find this man. I need someone to hold my leash. And she's off. I don't think she's coming back. She's long gone looking for someone to hold that leash of hers. But I'm going to welcome the last three bachelorettes back onto the stage. If you ladies would please come out. Hey! I saw your man! Well, he was my ex-boyfriend! Why do you have him? What are you talking about, you flat-breasted- <laughs> Why are you calling me like that? Hey! Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. oh, 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 oh my goodness! I
she's just keep rolling. Keep rolling. I'll, I'll just pause before I start. Get out, get out. <laughs> Alright, Envy's just waiting backstage for you. Oh my gosh! I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, my grandpa, my aunts, my uncle, my sister. That's my brother, that's that's awkward. Cousin. That is not. Woo! Perfect count! Woo! Did you just flip the camera off? <laughs> Seriously, what you just did? He's done that twice. Alright, and you someone who believes that people are rational, intelligent, and reasonable, and that he. So next I would like to welcome Leslie onto the stage. I'm a Bobby girl in a Bobby world. I can play on stage. It's okay. Okay, that's it. Jacob, One of you! His desire for change would have to be moderate because... Jacob! <laughs> welcome Leslie, so happy to have you on the show. Penny. 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 Huh? What? Oh, sorry. Um, and Bernadette, there is your, uh, full, uh <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hi, Brandon. No one touches my wife. That one vibrates, you can't play with that! <laughs> oh, cool. Now it's really back, sorry, that's back onto the stage. Hey! Hey! Just a second! I saw, I saw the guys that you were... They're really cute. I want them. I want yours, I want Adam Smith. Tell me, flat, breasted. I like, I like, I like Thomas Hobbs too. Fine with Adams. No, I'm getting them. Hey! I'm getting them. Jarrow, Jarrow, it's a brawl. You're supposed to fight with him. I thought you guys were like fighting me. <laughs> like, no, after he calls you a flat breasted.